in this uh, video lecture we will be seeing how we can list the table and column attributes column attributes means the properties of the column like variable name uh, possibly the length of it and the type of it all the details related to a column uh, we will be able to list it using proc contents so the intention is to use proc contents okay now let's go ahead with the concept of uh, how a data is analyzed in the entire uh, uh, setup of SAS programming till you export the result in the form of a report so first we should be able to access the data the data is usually in the drive and we have to bring it inside the SAS then we have to explore it explore means you have to you should be able to identify the variables what are the attributes of it whether it is uh, numeric or character data or whether there is any formatting done whether sorting is done all those information you need to have a prior information so you'll be exploring the information after that as per your requirement that is required for the report you'll be either preparing the data and after that you'll be analyzing the data once it is done, you will be converting it, uh, results into a, uh, reproducible reports. Now looking at the SAS uh, structure, each uh, data or the variable what you have uh, is listed under a variable. The data is listed under a variable. It will have a name, type and length. As we know, the name should be 1, 2, 3, 3 2 characters and always it starts with a letter or underscore. There cannot be a number to start with, but it can be there after the first letter, after the first character. So you do not have a space for a variable name. Then you come across a type. There could be a numeric or character. Now the numeric could be uh, 0 to 9 having a minus sign uh, or even a decimal point or scientific notation could be there. As an example, you have these different formats. For character, they are all letters. Numbers also are possible that it's a character. Some special characters, even the blank spaces can be used. Coming to the type specifically for the SAS dates, always the SAS date starts with the 1st January 1960. Here, there onwards, the dates are counted as uh, positive. Bef before that, it is counted as negative. So, this is this is one important uh, feature of SAS, where the SAS dates are counted as a numeric data rather than a uh, date as we remember it. So, the current date, what we see, we, we for us, we observe it in this particular format, whereas the SAS counts it as a number, an integer, rather than a particular date so we need to be very careful with the SAS otherwise the report may contain only the integer or the number we should be able to convert it to a readable format before it is reported now you have the length of it the numeric will have 8 bytes and the character have uh, 32,767 bytes uh, one character is equal to one byte usually so the numeric will have only 8 bytes within that it has to fit now this SAS library what we are talking about is having SAS tables. All SAS libraries have SAS tables. The SAS tables are based to the SAS coding. So all SAS code works on SAS tables only. So if at all you have any other format like Excel, XLS or uh, you have a CSV format, first you need to bring it into the SAS library. Uh, then after that you have to work on that SAS, that SAS table so that you convert it to a report format. So let's go ahead and uh, check out uh, how it works here we are in the sas uh, studio in sas studio you see that there is a my library when you open a session you can see only sas help uh, sas user uh, some web work and work these are the default libraries under sas help you see a large number of uh, sas tables that are inbuilt uh, that can be used as an example to study the sas programming now one of that is uh, cars one of them is the cars which I have opened here. This is the table. If you want to compress the columns, you can use the size grid to columns to contain that option. Now you see that on the left hand side you have the descriptor portion, on the right hand side you have the data portion. You select any descriptor, you have the model or MSRP. You can identify whether it's a numeric type, whether it is formatted, what is the name and uh, what is the property value, what is the length of it, all this information you can visually you can observe in a SAS table. So this SAS table has 428 rows and 15 columns. So that means there are 15 variables. Now let us look into another aspect of it that is using proc contents. How we can get this information for a large file. Here you have to toggle between the values instead of this at a stretch 
we will be able to get the general information about this particular SAS table. Let's look into how it is done. So let me go to a particular uh, file first. Uh, let me open up a file, uh, a program. Uh, in this, uh, I'll be explaining you how to view the table and column attributes. So the syntax is proc contents. Data is equal to the data file where it is present. This is one statement. The second statement is run. So the data is equal to within the inverted quote. This is very important. The file name should be within the inverted quote. This file name is a character. So it should be within the invert, double, quote, double inverted quotes and ending with a semicolon. So if you make a small error, all the next, if you miss this particular quote, all the next lines will be purple colored. So that's an indicator for you that you missed a, a double quote a closing. Then uh, this particular file path, it should be exact and uh, the file you are interested should be included. So I am going to check the contents of the file called as class underscore birth date. It is a SAS table. How do I know that it's a SAS table? The file extension is dot SAS 7 bdat. Where it is present, it is in a folder called as bsas uh, data. That is under bsas, under data, here it is class underscore birth date dot sas 7 b dat so this is the particular uh, sas table likewise many other sas tables are there we all that end with the dot sas 7 b dat is the sas table so i am interested in verifying the column attributes or table and column attributes for this particular file if i do not know the path say this path i do not know in that case what i have to do is select the file, particular file from for which you want to generate the column attributes right click scroll down to the properties under properties you have the option called as location copy it that is control C come back here you paste it control V within the double quote with it should be within the double quote once it is done let me run the code so ensure that there is no error in the logs so log has got no error there is no warning also so it's successfully executed so in the results you observe that there are 19 observations for this data there are six variables for this information for this data uh, now here you have uh, sorting no it is not sorted there are three tables that you can see table one it's regarding the general output second it's related to the dip, uh, engine dependent uh, information so we will not worry much about this the third table gives us required information it gives us the list of variables and attributes you can see that there are about uh, six variables listed but in not in a proper order it's in a uh, jumbled up order but here if you refer it variable it is sorted alphabetically then whether it is uh, numeric or character which type it is mentioned length of each uh, data aside associated with that particular variable the length of it is also measured i mean mentioned here now this number what it means is this is the order in which it appears in the sash table so the sash table has got first column as name second column as sex third column as age fourth height likewise so the last column in this particular table is birth date because it is six here so this is sort in a part this is alphabetically sorted that's a standard default format so this is uh, how we are going to uh, check the uh, column and table attributes using proc contents so here is an example another example uh, in this particular case uh, you can find out the uh, use the another kind of file you can use any other file just you have to replace this particular file name so you can find out the uh, column attributes using the pro contents format for step pro contents step yeah that's it for this video